The new Samsung NX210 sits in the middle of Samsung's compact system camera lineup. It has the same body, layout and 20.3 million pixel APS-C size sensor of its predecessor, the NX200, but comes with the addition of integrated Wi-Fi. Featuring a more robust metal body than the NX1000, the NX210 is designed to be a more stylish option than the NX20, which is styled more akin to a traditional DSLR. A common problem with large sensor compact cameras is that with the kit lens attached, the camera can look a little unbalanced. However, with a pancake lens, such as this 20mm f2.8 attached, the camera looks a little neater. Most of the features of the camera have been brought across from the NX200. For instance, we have the same fixed 3-inch 614K dot AMOLED screen. The NX210 screen doesn't boast the same high resolution as many other cameras, meaning the images previewed can look a little dull. However, the screen works very well in bright lights, allowing for easy composition. This mode dial on the top of the camera can be used to switch between modes. Here you'll see the standard PASM modes, but also Smart Auto, Scene Mode, Magic Mode and Wi-Fi Mode. Magic Mode provides a number of smart filters and magic frames to help those looking to get a bit more creative with their images. Some of these are a little bizarre, but they are nevertheless fun to experiment with. It's worth pointing out that images shot in this mode can only be shot in JPEG, meaning removing a filter in post-production won't be possible. The Wi-Fi functionality of the camera can only be accessed via the Wi-Fi mode. Here you'll find various options such as social sharing, email and remote viewfinder. This allows the camera to be paired up with a smartphone or tablet to control the camera remotely. We could see this being a really useful function, especially for wildlife photographers and the like. Unfortunately, however, the remote viewfinder only offers extremely limited functionality, giving control over the shutter release, but not any of the camera settings. On the back of the camera, buttons are reasonably well arranged, with the scroll dial here used to change settings, such as aperture, depending on the mode you're shooting in. One bugbear here is that the exposure compensation button needs to be held down while scrolling the dial, something which is pretty much impossible to do one-handed. Instead, what you can do is hold down the button and use this small dial on the top of the camera. The camera uses a Samsung NX mount, which currently boasts nine proprietary lenses. Six of these are eye function optics, which include this button, which can be pressed to access key camera functionality, such as aperture or exposure compensation. The standard 18-55mm kit lens is an eye function lens, while others such as 60mm f2.8 macro lenses are also available. Check out my full review of the Samsung NX210 on techradar.com.